in statistics, when we say expectation, what we're really referring to is the expected value. Um, whether it's a game of chance, like gambling, or maybe it's insurance purposes, um, what do we expect to happen? We can find the mean, we can find all this stuff, we can find the spread, it, the variance or standard deviation, but what do we expect to have happen? So the expected value of a random variable is the theoretical average of the variable. And the way we're going to find that is, well, basically the mean, but the theoretical mean, the theoretical average, is we're going to take the summation of that variable times the probabilities. And we use E of X um, for expected value. So let's, let's kind of talk our way through an example. 1,000 tickets are sold at a dollar each. Color television valued at $350 is the price. And what is the expected value of the gain? if you purchase one ticket. We're going to come back to that. What does it mean by expected value of the gain? Well, let's see what's kind of going on here, okay? I'm going to say our gain, that's going to be our random variable, and then I'm going to have our probability. And two things are going to happen. We're either going to win a color television valued at $350, or we're going to lose. Now, if we win, our gain is 349. Oh, wait a minute. Why is it not 350? Well, we paid a dollar. They don't say, here's your color TV valued at $350 plus your dollar back. No, you're just kind of out the dollar. That's why we say that our gain is $349. What's the probability of that happening? Well, they sold 1,000 tickets, so you buy one of them, you have one out of a thousand chance of winning. Now we could lose too. And if we lose, guess what? We're just out the dollar. They don't give it back. They don't say thanks for trying. Here you go. We're out the dollar. And what is the probability that we lose? Well, it's a lot greater than the probability of us winning. If we buy one ticket, we have one out of a thousand chance of winning, but we have 999 out of a thousand chance of losing. Now, let's talk about the expected value. Remember, the, that's just our theoretical average. And we're going to take the summation of our gain times our probabilities. So it's going to look really familiar. 349 times 1,000 summation. Then we say negative 1 times 999 over 1,000. And if you figure that all out, we get a negative 65 cents. What does that mean? It's not like when I give him my dollar, I get negative 65 cents out. There's another way we can do this problem. I'm going to come back to this question. You can literally think of it instead as being, instead of the 349 taking that dollar out, and this way actually almost makes a little more sense to me. Use either way you want. Again, our expected value is a theoretical average, so we're going to take our variable, whatever we um, say is that variable, times the probability. Well, let's say our gain is $350, our TV, times our probability of winning it, 1 out of 1,000. When we do that, then when we're all done, subtract off the dollar that we paid for, that we paid, bought the ticket with. So here, we're kind of taking the dollar off right away, and we're saying, oh, we got 349 times 1 out of 1,000, and then if we lose, negative 1 times 999 over 1,000. Or we can say, let's just do the full value, 350, one chance out of 1,000 winning, and then subtract off our dollar at the end. If you were to figure that out, you're going to get the same thing, a negative 65 cents. So our expected value is a negative 65 cents. Hmm confused what that means. Well, remember, um, expected value is the theoretical average, okay? So this is our average losses. And I'm going to try to spell it correctly. R. And by average losses, 
We mean basically for a thou each of the thousand tickets sold, there's a loss of 65 cents per ticket. Because it's a negative 65 cents. Or maybe another way we can look at it is if you bought one ticket every week for a thousand weeks, probability says you should win one of those weeks, you would be out like 65 cents per week on average. Expected value, again, expected value of the gain. If we have a negative gain here, well, that doesn't work out so well for us. Let's try one more example. Same type of idea here. Now we're going to sell 1,000 tickets, dollar each, but this time we're going to have four prizes, 150, 25, or 10. And after each prize drawing, the winning ticket is re-entered, returned to the pool of tickets. So you can win more than once. But what is the expected value if you purchase two tickets? So you see a similar chart step here. Now where did this 98, 48, 23 come from? Well, this is the $100 minus the $2 for the two tickets. This is the $50. And I'm going to write these in because, again, we have two different ways of doing these problems. This negative 2 here. Remember, we can win zero dollars. That means not win at all. So we have two chances for winning 100, two chances for winning 50, two chances for 25, two for 100, I'm sorry, two for 10, which would leave 992 chances to not win a thing. Theoretical average, expected value. We take the summation of our gain, our variable, times our probability. So remember the first way we did it was we could go 98 times our probability 2 over 1,000 plus 48 times 2 out of 1,000 plus, and so on and so forth, all the way to the end. Again, I like the second way a little bit better, where we think of our original values. We think of 100 times 2 out of 1,000, because again, where is that 2 coming from? We purchased two tickets. Plus 50 times our 2 out of 1,000 chance of winning, plus 25 times 2 out of 1,000 plus 10 times 2 out of 1,000. And then instead of doing our 0 here, just subtract the $2 that we spent to start. Either way you do it, whether you do this way or, and then at the end, you'd have negative 2 times 992 over 1,000. Or this way, which I kind of like better, we just subtract our, kind of our initial investment at the end. If you were to figure all of this out, what it comes up to is a negative $1.63. That's our expected value, our expected gain. Expected gain, negative. That means our average loss per ticket is $1.63. So for each of those 1,000 tickets, the average loss on each one is $1.63. Expected value, again, the theoretical average. And we've pretty much figured out um, a lot of, like we do mean and everything. But it's important to understand what we're saying. This is what we expect. This is our average, in these cases, for all the tickets sold.